Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you this Friday. So, okay, as uh, usual, we're going to check the platform. So, this is the class of tonight. So, and uh, this is the question for tonight for you to participate. And you need to do the homework number eight. And it's like for you to choose the correct answer and then submit only five questions. Eh, es importante que vayamos con la plataforma al día, compañeros, que vayamos haciendo las actividades para que todo esté nice, ¿verdad? Recordemos que cada fin de semana, es decir, cada ahorita sería martes, estaría yo enviando las notas para Insafort. Ok, so we are going to start the class and we are going to check the attendance. Ok, so let's see. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present, sir. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present, teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present, teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present, teacher. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present, teacher. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. I'm here, teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Present teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Ok, we are going to start the class of tonight. Excuse me, teacher. Salvador. Ah, ok. Pero que Very nice. Here you are, ok. Good. Ok, we are going to start the class of tonight. And uh, vamos a ver un video que es un poco largo, pero es interesante ir escuchando y tratar de ver um, lo que dice y uh, tratar de entender. Un poco largo, pero tratamos de captar ideas. Y luego vamos a hacer comentarios o si tienen alguna pregunta por qué se pronuncia así algo o algo por el estilo, pues me avisan. So, we're going to start with that one. Here we go. In with you on day two. Hi everyone, it's Felicia here checking in with you on day two of the Total Business Mastery Seminar. Did you know that there are four principles of marketing strategy? I didn't either. Watch this brand new footage where Brian explains exactly what they are and how you will become more successful once you start using them. Oh yes, uh, sometimes I ask my, my, my uh, business clients, I say, who sets your prices? Sometimes I have a whole room full of business owners. Who, who sets your, your prices, by the way? And who determines your market share? And who determines your profit levels? And who determines uh, how fast you grow? And who determines the future of your business? I do, I do, we do. Eh. No, you don't. Your competitors do. Your competition determines everything. Your competition determines uh, your level of sales, the prices you charge, and how much money you make. I've done a lot of work on military strategy. And one of the great principles I learned in military strategy is that no strategy can be made independent of the enemy. 
In other words, you can't sit there and plan military strategy ignoring who your enemy is and where they are and how big they are and what their plans and intentions are. So no strategy in business can be made without thinking about your competition and who are they and what do they do and why do people buy from them and how can I get them to buy from me and how will they react if I get their customers. There's, there's volumes of books in the libraries on this and I've got them all. There's one book called Competitive Analysis. It's this big by Michael Porter. It's about six, eight hundred pages and it's all on things that you have to think about to position against competition. Big stuff. You can get PhDs in marketing focused on competitive analysis. So the four principles of marketing strategy are these. Number one is your decisions in these four areas. Whoops. These, these, your decisions in these four areas determine the success or failure of your business. The first is specialization. Specialization is uh, determining where you, you are going to specialize, which we'll talk about in your product or service. And I'll talk about this, I'll define it a little bit better. The second is differentiation. Differentiation is really the key to business. And they say that all business strategy is differentiation strategy. Competitive advantage is how it is that you are different and better than your competitors. Because human beings in the marketplace, customers, always want to know why should I buy from you rather than from someone else. And you'd better give me a better reason than your competitor does or I'll buy from your competitor. And it's not personal. It's just I want to get the very best deal. As a customer, I want to get the highest quality for the lowest price. You tell me why I should buy from you, why you are giving me the highest quality, the lowest price, and if your answer is better than that of your competitors, I'll buy from you, and if it's not, I won't. And it's not personal, no emotion involved. We get emotionally involved because it's our business. So differentiation is the key, is how and why and where are you different. Segmentation means looking at your market and saying, who are the specific customers in the market who value my area of differentiation and who will pay more for um, my area of specialization than anybody else. So in other words, in every marketplace, and they say that all, market now, all marketing today is segmentation, is segmenting and identifying those customers who are most likely to buy from you the fastest. And finally, there's concentration. Once you have determined your very best market segment for what you do really well, what you do is you focus all your energies on them. So let's look at this. Specialization says, this is the product, service, customer, market, or area of technology where you focus all your efforts. We also say in specialization, it can be a product or service, it can be a particular customer that you want to serve, uh, or it can be a particular market area that you want to work in. I'll give you an example, McDonald's. McDonald's customer is people who want to eat quickly and they want cleanliness, efficiency, value, price, and pleasant surroundings. And so what they will do is they will offer every product that they possibly can for people who want to eat quickly, whether it's a salad or whether it's a, uh, a, a shake or whether it's a type of coffee or whether it's, in other words, they're constantly looking for other products that they can offer to that customer who wants, who's in that market segment, which wants to eat quickly and efficiently. And they test, they test continually. Very clear about that. So the next one is, look at that. Wow. Okay. And so, and so differentiation is your competitive advantage, which you've heard me talk about, but you'll never hear me talk about too much. Because if you can identify and or create a competitive advantage and convey it to your customers, the dam will break. You can make more sales and more money in a year with a clear competitive advantage to your customers than you might make in a lifetime if your competitive advantage is unclear. So number two, it's your area of excellence or superiority. It's something that you do better than anybody else. And I sometimes joke, why is your product or service better? And they say, quality and service, quality and service, quality and service, we give quality and service. And people don't understand that that is only an answer if your competitors offer zero quality and zero service. In other words, other than that, it's not an answer. If your person says, well, you should buy from us because of our quality and service, they're saying, I do not have the slightest idea why anybody should buy from me. I'm a complete idiot and I'm a danger to my company and probably to my whole society. <laughs> so it, it's interesting when uh, Steve Jobs looked at the Blackberry, looked at all the cell phones that were out there and he sent out with his engineers and he said, I want a phone that you can activate with one button. They said it's impossible. All these other phones have all these other buttons you turn off and on. He said, I want a phone that you can activate with one button. 
And he kept sending them back and sending them back until they finally came with the one button. You activate it, put in your code, and bam, you have all your apps and you're ready to go. The game is on. One button. It's never been done before in history. It can't be done, can't be done, can't be done, can't be done. I want it done. And there's the phone. He said, phone, phone, cell phones today should not be so darn complicated to start up, use, get around, and so on. I had a BlackBerry, and to get a, an, an app on a BlackBerry, which has far fewer than Apple, it's almost like a, you need an act of Congress to get a damn app. I mean, you know what I'm talking about? They're so hard. And you go to BlackBerry, and I go to, go to Apple, which my, my, my family and my staff got me into, within half an hour, I had 30 apps loaded. I mean, it's unbelievable. You're loading them one at a time. I, whoa. And now you can float the whole world. And stuff, the stuff that's on there for apps, just the free apps blow your mind, much less the paid apps. And now you have 486,000 apps. Think about that. Uh, uh. But they make it easy. So Apple says you come to us and it's easy. You can access everybody, anything, anywhere. And then they come up with the Apple II and they put that video model on it. Whereas you can actually hold it up and you can talk by video to anybody in, anywhere in the world who has an Apple with the same facility. It's the, most, it's the most amazing damn thing. I mean, you look at it, it's almost like a kid. How can this be? Uh, so what is yours? And if you don't have it, you can't compete. But if you do have it, you sell 50 million sets and become the highest valued company in the world in five years if you can be really clear about an, a, an area of excellence that people want and will pay for. Uh, your unique selling proposition. What is, it, what is it that, and this is called your USP. Your USP is the one thing that you offer that no other competitor offers in the whole world. It's unique. What do we know about the word unique? Is it cannot be modified. It's the only adjective that cannot be modified. You can have more, and you can have greater, and you can have greatest, but you cannot have more unique, or uniquer, or less unique, or uniquest. You have only one word, unique. Each person here is unique. You are not uniquer. Uh, you are not the uniquest. You are unique because there's only one of you in the entire world. So therefore, what is your unique selling proposition? I've worked with people, have spent hours to identify this, and when they finally identified it, their business went up 500% in the next 12 months. They could not believe it. They went from struggling to living in a big home, driving a Cadillac or a Mercedes because they finally found it. And then all of your advertising, all of your promotion, all of your work is focused on conveying that USP to your customers, getting it to them so that they are clear what it is. And if it's what customers want and value and will pay for, they will line up around the street. Remember when they brought out the iPad? Because of the iPhone, nobody really knew it was in the iPad except it was going to be like a whole broad screen. It was going to have everything that a computer had. They lined up around the streets by the hundreds to, to, fly, to lay $500 down. $500. I don't know about you, but I think $500 is a lot of money. Wouldn't you say? $500? These are poor people with flip-flops and sandals and tractor caps willing to, have to put their $500 down to get this, because they didn't, they didn't know what, what it was, but it's going, to be like a, it's going to be like an iPod, an iPhone with a bigger screen, plus all kinds of other capabilities. Wow. And you know what they did? They sold 25 million of them in, in less than a year. 25 million, and they totally changed the book retailing industry. The book retailing industry, like a ship that turned over, went from um, basically hardcover books in bookstores. It flipped. Now, 51 to 55 percent of all books are being purchased on as e-books, and the reason is because of the iPad. Because iPad owners are readers, and they buy an average of two to three hundred books in the first year. And the whole market flipped and borders. One of the biggest and oldest bookstores in America went bankrupt all in less than a year when the iPad was introduced. Can you imagine? I mean, we're living in pretty turbulent times. Wouldn't you imagine a company that spent decades building was bankrupt nationwide within a year with the advent of one new technology? So what is your unique selling proposition? There's this convenience. You can get everything, get everything fast, everything convenient, more convenient than anyone else. Everybody tries to compete with the iPhone or the iPad can't do it. The Nook can't do it. The Hewlett Packard got into it with their tablet and just quit. It's just can't do it. Now, um, uh, who is it? Not Samsung, but uh, uh, the, the Korean company is trying to compete and so on. But they have a unique selling proposition. So my question is, what is yours? And I'm going to ask you to answer that. What is yours? What is it that you offer that nobody else offers? Now, here is an insight. If you're offering something that everybody else sells, let's say you're a real estate agent. What's your unique selling proposition as a real estate agent if every other real estate agent with 100 miles has same unlimited access to the, um, um, yeah, the MLS? 
What's, what, is your, what is your USP? What can it be? What could it be? What should it be? Come on. Jeez. Well, the answer is yourself. Because you, you, the product is all the same. You don't even control the product. You don't even control the marketing. Everybody else can have it. So what makes top realtors, I work with top realtors. The average realtor makes about 25000 a year. I work with an entire room full of realtors. The average income is $833,000 a year on straight commission selling. And they all started off with nothing, and they're now at the top of their field. And some of them make several million selling homes. What's the difference? Personality. Personality, preparation, punctuality, friendliness, warmth, follow-up, notes, phone calls, contact. In other words, they make a supreme effort to build a really high-quality relationship with a home buyer or home seller so that that person will never think of going anywhere else. I know because I've worked with some of these people in buying and selling my homes, and I would never buy or sell, buy or through anybody else but these people because they, have, they are so good at what they do. And every one of them started off on the street knocking on doors and dialing for dollars and made a decision that their unique selling proposition was going to be themselves. And, and, and you, as an independent business owner, can make that decision as well. Make the decision that I'm going to take such good care of my customers, my customers would never go anywhere else. I don't have to give them blandishments or discounts. I'm going to take such good care of them that they will eagerly come back to me. So number four is where are you or could you be the best? Where are you or could you be the best? And this is the great question because everybody here has the ability to be the best at something. Everybody here has the ability to be the best at something that people will eagerly pay for and tell their friends about. And your job is to figure out what it is. Your job is to figure out what it is and then do continuous and never ending improvement until finally people say, you know, you're the best. You are really good at what you do. You are really good. Look at Lady Gaga. I saw her at the Grammy Awards as well. I don't know anything about Lady Gaga. I've never listened to a Lady Gaga song. She came absolutely from out of nowhere. She's 25 years old. She's one of the top 10 tweeted people in the history of the world. And she made last year $60 million. And where, where was she? Singing in nightclubs or, or bars five years ago? And she's an incredible entertainer. And there ain't nobody like Lady Gaga. You know what I'm talking about? It's unbelievable. Why? She knew what she had. And she, she goes to the extreme with her dress and her appearance and everything else, and she wraps it around a good voice and just literally has taken over the world of pop music. So segmentation is who are those customers who most appreciate your area of superiority? Who are your very best customers? You see, your best customers are really easy to sell to. They'll buy and buy again. They're happy. They like you. They come back. They bring their friends. They give you recommendations and testimonials, whereas your worst customers, your customers from hell, you have to literally break your back to sell them anything. They complain all the time. They don't pay. Uh, when they do pay, their checks bounce, and you stand back and bounce it to you like a basketball. Um, so who are they? What are their demographics? What are their psychographics? The demographics are things that you can observe from the outside, age, income, education, family formation. Psychographics are what motivates them. And this is where the future is in your business. And every person has psychographics, and they have a key psychographic. I'll tell you this in a second. How would you describe your perfect customer? I do this, by the way. I said, imagine that you were at a social or business gathering, and you're networking, and someone came up to you and said, look, I know a lot of people in this community. Um, how would you describe your perfect customer? Don't tell me what your product or service is. I don't want to hear. Just tell me who would your perfect customer be in terms of their wants, needs, age, education, income, position. and. So you would have to describe your perfect customer without mentioning your product or service at all. The person would, would not even know what you sold. You describe the customer. This is what this person is. This is where they are. I'll give you an example. IBM at one time had 80% of the world computing market. 80%. Then they made some mistakes. And now they have much less. But they had 80%. They had so much that the uh, federal government tried to break them up for about 20, for 13 years. They brought antitrust suits against IBM, just like they tried to break up Microsoft. They uh, finally, Reagan came into power. They started. Okay, we are not going to watch all the video. Igual se lo voy a compartir ahí en el grupo, pero pues es un poco largo. Entonces, vamos a aprovechar y vamos a tratar de comentar en primer lugar y luego continuar con la clase. So, uh, a ver, ¿qué entendimos hasta ahorita? ¿Alguien algún comentario? What did you understand on the video? Mm, it's about business. Okay, it's about business. So, what else? Uh, 
Merkel uh, customer. Marketing, very good. And about how to get into customers, right? Okay. Any other thing? About strategy, about marketing. Marketing strategies, which are very, very important. Very good. Nice. Any other thing? O cualquier cosa, también los links de los videos están en el libro. ¿verdad? Usted le da clic ahí el, en el formato digital del libro y le va a abrir el video. Pero igual se lo voy a poner este porque no lo vimos entero en la clase. Ok, so today is uh, class number eight and we're going to speak about everyday tasks. Primer pregunta, ¿qué es task? Son como tareas diarias. Tareas. ¿Sí? Very good. So these are everyday tasks that you need to do. Pronunciation is tasks. Se dice la primera S, la otra S también se dice tasks. It's very important pronunciation, okay? And here are some activities that are like the common activities that we do every day. So what we're going to do is to repeat. Everybody, please repeat. Wake up. Wake up, wake up. Get up. Get up, get up. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Take the bus. Take the bus. Take the bus. Take the bus. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Start working at 7 a.m. Start, Start working at 7 p.m. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have a meeting. Have a, have a meeting. Deliver a presentation. A presentation. Send a report. Send, Send a, report. a report. Check figures. Check figures. Leave the office. Leave the office. Take a taxi. Take a, take a taxi. Go home. Go home. Go home. Have dinner. Have, have dinner. dinner. Brush my teeth. Brush my, Brush teeth. my teeth. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay. So these are everyday activities. So, uh, what is wake up? Despertarse. Good. And get up. Levantarse. 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 Take a shower. Tomar una ducha. Tomar una ducha. Si decimos take a bath, sería tomarse un baño, pero se entiende algo diferente porque es como meterse en una tina o algo por el estilo. Uh, have breakfast. What is that? Desayunar. Desayunar. Vean que el verbo acá es have. Breakfast no es verbo. Nosotros en español decimos desayunar. Yo estoy desayunando. Es un verbo en español, pero en inglés breakfast no es verbo. El verbo es have. Take the bus. What is that? Tomar el bus. Tomar el bus. Va a abordar el bus. Very good. Go to work. Ir al trabajo. Cuando vamos muy felices para el trabajo. Very good. Start working at 7 a.m. What is that? Iniciar a trabajar a las 7 de la mañana. En iniciar a trabajar o iniciar el trabajo a las 7 de la mañana. Have lunch, what is that? Almorzar. Good, la mejor parte del día. Have a meeting, what is that? Tener una reunión o reunirse. Tener una reunión, very good. Deliver a presentation. Entregar una presentación. Muy bien, hacer una presentación, dar una presentación. Send a report. Enviar un reporte. Enviar un reporte. Enviar un reporte. Uh, check figures. Revisar imágenes. Eh, acá no sería imágenes porque imágenes sería images. Figures se refiere, por ejemplo, a contabilidad, a los números, a las cifras. Algo así como revisar las cifras. Es algo que pues podemos ir aprendiendo. Leave the office. What is leave the office? Leave de la oficina. Dejar la oficina cuando finalmente nos vamos. Take a taxi. Tomar un taxi. Very good. Go home. 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 Go home
Ir a casa. Ir a casa. Ir a casa. Very good. Have dinner. Cenar. Cenar. Brush my teeth. Lavar los dientes. Lavarse los dientes. Vea que la pronunciación es teeth. Si yo digo de otra manera, es otra parte del cuerpo y se va a ir raro, ¿verdad? So, es brush my teeth. Eh, brush, go... brush my teeth. Teeth. Ajá, es very important. Porque sí, la otra parte también se la puede cepillar, pero it's not like common, very good. So, uh, go to bed. What is go to bed? Ir a la cama. Ir a la cama. Irse a dormir, finalmente, después de la clase de inglés. Nice. Do you have any questions? No questions, claro como la horchata. Sí, vamos a hacer entonces un repaso. Ayer estuvimos viendo los adverbs of frequency y estuvimos haciendo preguntas. Ahora lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. We are going to uh, tell our daily routine. Vamos a, lo pueden escribir si quieren, eh, ¿verdad? Uh, y si no lo pueden decir así. Les voy a dar igual tiempo para que ustedes piensen o lo escriban. La rutina diaria. ¿Qué hace usted en la semana? Se levanta, me levanta a esta hora, desayuno, o cocino, o no, o, o, como en el trabajo, o whatever you want to, to say, ¿ok? Entonces, esta es la rutina diaria de lunes a viernes, la semanal. Um, do you have any questions with the activity? No. Ok, entonces, la escribimos rapidín ahí, ¿verdad? Es la del día. Eh, le voy a dar unos 5, 6, 7 minutos para que le escriban y luego vamos a empezar a compartir para practicar. Si tienen preguntas, me avisan y les voy a dejar ahí en pantalla el, uh, este vocabulario, pero pueden ocupar cualquier otro, ¿verdad? De acuerdo a su rutina. Si tienen preguntas de alguna frase, de alguna actividad, de alguna... Anything that you want to ask, I will be here. ¿Ok?
Teacher, ¿son oraciones o son preguntas? Yo sé que sería como un párrafo, sería como yo hago esto y luego hago esto y luego ah, hago okay. esto. Y podemos usar los aves o frequency, o sea, puedo decir I always, I sometimes, lo que usted quiera decir. Bueno, gracias. Did you finish already? Terminamos ya. Or do you need more time? Yes, yeah. Okay. I will wait a little bit more.
Ok, are we ready? ¿Estamos listos ya? Anybody? Ok. Yeah. Very good. Uh, entonces vamos a yeah. iniciar. Nice. Uh, let me just check here. Okay, we are going to start then. Um, who wants to start? Me, teacher. Very good. Carlos, let's go Me ahead teacher. and do it. We're going to listen to Carlos first and then uh, Edwin. Okay. I woke up at 5 p.m. I take a shower at 6 a.m. I go to work at 6 a.m. I have, I have breakfast at 7 a.m. I start working at uh, 7 a.m. I have lunch at 12 noon. I send a report on Friday. I leave the office at 5 p.m. I have dinner 7 p.m. I brush my teeth at 10 p.m. I go to bed at 11 p.m. Ok, very good, perfect, it was very nice. Uh, cuando hablamos de solamente del mediodía, se puede decir at noon nada más. That would be good, perfect. Okay, Thank Edwin. you, teacher, it's a for pleasure. correction. Ah, oh, it's a pleasure. Edwin Antonio. Ok, teacher. So, uh, my daily routine is I wake up at half past five in the morning. Ok. I get up after uh, I take a shower. Then I wear I wear my work clothes and I have my breakfast. Sometimes I take my work bus, work bus, but when I am late, I go to my work with my friend. I start working at quarter past seven. But sometimes I am in my work after the hour. I have lunch at noon and I have an hour for my lunch. Often I have a meeting with clients after lunch and I have to deliver a presentation. I leave my office at 5 p.m. and I go to the gym until 6 p.m. After I go to home to have a dinner and I have my English class at 8 p.m. That is all. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you, Edwin, for sharing. Uh, who wants to be the next? Quien quiere ser el próximo? Me. Very good, Brenda. I went, uh, I went out at 5.30 and I am, I get up and take a bath. I um, come to work for 20 minutes. I enter 6. 45 minutes como se dice. 45. 45 I am. My lunch is at las 12. <laughs> Ahí puede decir at noon. I noon. At noon. My lunch is I know. I work in the administration area area is an assistant. I work in customer service to and dispatch order orders. My heart is very 
stressful but fun. I love what I do. I lead a for uh for five thirty p.m. and I arrive at my house at five and punto o'clock. Five o'clock p.m. I take a bread. I had dinner. I talk with my husband and then I go to my English class. Then is a little player. I go to be I go to my bed and I fall asleep. Okay, very good. Perfect. That was very nice. Thank you. Okay, who wants to be the next? Me, teacher. Okay, Ulisse. Okay. Uh, I get up at 6 a.m. Then I always check my cell phone. And after I take a shower for 15 minutes, and later I have breakfast, pupusas, and then I go to work in my car and I drive for 40 my, 45 minutes. And then I park my car and, and then I have a meeting with my boss and we talk about the activity of the day and I, I work for 10 or 12 hours. Uh, then I return to my house. And after I have dinner with my mom, we talk about, uh, about, uh, about of the day. And after uh, I have a class, in, in, uh, English class, I start um, eight at eight o'clock, and I go to my bed around uh, twelve a.m. eight p.m. Okay, very good, perfect, very nice. Thank you, Alisa. Who wants to be the next? Me, teacher. Good. Let's go with that adjustment. Good cut every day is five o'clock and order I get up five minutes later. No, no, get up in the moment. And uh, order they at the brochure, they didn't uh, drink a uh, drink, lay drink, drink ray of coffee, right? My teeth and to take the box and go to the work. I am usually my start working at seven immediate. They don't all when review report Salis in my work. I have logged usually uh, one p p.m. p.m. I leave the office usually six p.m. Let her take to the bus, go to home. Occasionally have diner. I had hardly close in the English. Uh, eight o'clock. Uh, all way um, at night, brush my teeth and go to the bed. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Jasmine. Nice. Anybody else? Teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I always get up at six o'clock. I hardly. Rarely breakfast break breakfast in my work. I never late go to work. Sometimes start working at nine a.m. I am busy check very email emails. I have lunch at noon o'clock. 
o solo digo at noon? At noon sería acá. At noon. Uh -huh. Hi is a lot a meeting. O I have a very meeting. No sé cómo decirlo ahí. ¿Y qué quiere decir? Quiero decir que yo tengo muchas reuniones. Oh, I have many meetings. Uh, I have many meetings. Thank you. Okay. Okay, very well. Perfect. That was very good, uh, Blanca Ruth. Who wants to be the next? Me, teacher. Very good, Jennifer. I always wake up early, get up at 6 a.m. I take a shower always. I break fast early sometimes and sometimes take the bus late. I go to work all day and begin to start working at night. I am and how long at 1 p.m. I sometimes have a meeting with my co-worker and deliver a presentation and send a report to my boss and leave to the office approximately 6 p.m. Um, take to pass and go home later have dinner with my family later on brush my teeth and go to bed approximately 9 p.m and good night okay very good very nice perfect thank you salvador bernal I generally wake up at six o'clock. I usually take a shower at six fifteen a.m. I sometimes have breakfast at six six thirty a.m. I always pray before to start work. I always go to the work at eight o'clock. I always have lunch at 1 p.m. I leave in my office at 4 p.m. and have dinner at 7, 7 p.m. I watch TV with my phone after I start English classes from 8 to 10 p.m. I every day read my Bible and and end the book after 10 p.m. and usually go to bed at 11 p.m. Okay, very good. That was very nice. Perfect. Thank you, Salvador. Who wants to be the next? Good, Carlos. Let's listen to Carlos Arias. I wake, I wake up, up, uh, up, get up, get up, by, by morning, take a shower, take a shower, get ready, get ready to work, to work. I take a bath, a bath, 
I have I have added EM EM from A A to ten ten EM EM I am I am English English class as as then then jury jury EM I am I got my piece 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 everybody everybody piece 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 and and at eleven eleven I got I got this. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Who wants to be the next? Me, teacher. Okay, let's listen to Marlon. Uh, wake up at uh, 5 a.m. and get up at 5.30. I go to the bathroom and take a shower for 50 minutes, then get Reset and get it ready until six six fifteen. At six thirty, I go to the bus stop, take the bus and go to board and be there at seven thirty. Have a have a breakfast at the company, and start work at eight eight a.m. Lunch at at noon and. At 1 p.m., return to work. Ending at 5 p.m., I return home at 7. I have dinner at 7.30, and during the week, I study English from 8 to 10 p.m., and I go to bed at the 11 p.m. Okay, very good. Perfect. That was very nice. Thank you, Marlon. Uh, Alguien más? Somebody else's? Ajá, de los que faltan, compañeros. Ok, let's listen to Karen. Ok. I usually get up at 4 to 3 o'clock p.m. I brush my teeth after take a shower. Often my baby get up between um, 5, 3 and 6 a.m. Always uh, he hungry and take a burp. Sometimes go to bed and take a bus and go to my work, have breakfast in my office, then start working at 8 a.m. After read and send emails and other, and always send report in the morning and have a lunch at 1 o'clock p.m. I have meeting for the afternoon. I live at 5 o'clock p.m. And normally I live at my home 5.40 o'clock p.m. And I play with my baby. And my husband arrive at home at 6.30 p.m. Then... Uh, we have dinner and start in the start at 8 o'clock p.m. And we usually go to the bed at 11 p.m. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Karen. That was good. Aha, uh -huh. más de los que faltan? There are a few that are still missing. Irving is ahí. Not possible. Gabriela Jamilet. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, always I wake up uh, at 4 a.m. I take a shower and get dressed. I go to work um 5 a.m i get i get to work 7 a.m always i have coffee uh, and take my breakfast i start work a uh, 8 a.m i finish my work 4 p.m i get my home 5 p.m i have a dinner 
6 p.m. and I go to bed 10 p.m. Okay, very good, very nice. Thank, you. Thank you, Gabriela. Uh, let's see who's missing. ¿Quién más falta? Catherine Indira. Not possible. Okay, uh, Fatima Noemi. I'm here, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Um, um, I am not going so. Oh, I see. I would. I try to make fast. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, my day starts at seven a.m. Um, then. I always brush my teeth. Then I make my breakfast. Then I go to the gym. Then I come back to my home. And I make my, uh, my lunch. Uh, that's, that's it when I have day off. But when I I have to work. My day starts at 4 a.m. And then I brush my teeth. Then I dress. And, and then I came with came at work. And my, my day starts at uh, 6 a.m. I check my email and my day finish at 6 a.m. when I have to work. And when I have weekend off, my day starts at 9 or 10 a.m. And I always brush my teeth and, and always I, ha I go out Sorry, I got, I got to the gym, and then I come back to the to my home, and I make my breakfast, and I rest a little bit in my house. Okay. Only that. Very good. That's very nice. Thank you very much. And who else is missing? Quién más falta? Creo que no falta nadie. Fatima, no mí. And that's it. Okay, so it's time for us to check the attendance, my friends. So let's see how it goes. Uh, Alvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. I am here, teacher. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present. Good. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Here, teacher. Good. Karen Lisette Sanchez Castro. Present, teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velasquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Ah, okay. Present, teacher. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Rosa del Carmen Enriquez Flores. And Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. 
Ok, so let's continue. Teacher, with... excuse me, teacher. Uh -huh. Fíjese que me sacó y ahorita entré otra vez. Ah, perfecto. Blanca Perfecto. Por favor. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, so let's continue with the class. So, let's go to the book. And this is unit number two. Staff and schedules. So, what is schedules? Do you remember? Horario. Horario, very good. So, it says, I will be able to ask and tell about scheduled activities in a regular day in the workplace. Nice. And there are questions here. It says, number one, let's start. What is a regular day at your workplace like? Uh -huh. Anybody, what is a regular day at your workplace like? ¿Se entiende la pregunta? Si hay preguntas con la pregunta, me dicen. What is a regular day at your workplace like? Nobody. ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es un día regular en tu trabajo? Ah, very good. And the answer? Very busy. Very busy. Very tired. Very stressed out, right? Yeah, that is like the regular days in anybody's work. Uh, and it says, how busy are you? I believe that the answer is very, very busy, right? Okay, so we have a conversation. La vamos a hacer como siempre. First, you repeat, then pronunciation questions. Oh, well, and then uh, we're going to practice and then a vocabulary. So everybody, let's repeat. This kitchen looks great. This kitchen looks great. It does. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She cleans the chicken from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. She does a really good job. Indeed. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Jorge does. Jorge, Jorge, does. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. I get, I get it. it. And who does after him? And who does after him? after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Does his brother, 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 brother take the orders after, after him? him? Yes, he does. Yes, yes, he, does. he does. Okay, pronunciation questions. Indeed. Okay, indeed. 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 Uh -huh. En la segunda línea, charge, charge, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Charge. Charge. In charge. Charge. Okay, any other? Teacher George, está bien decir Jorge. En este caso, sí. Le podemos cambiar también a George, no habría ningún problema. Los nombres, es decir, a veces no cambian dependiendo de cómo sea. Lo podemos a, eh, darle el equivalente, que sería George, 
pero decirle Jorge sería normal porque es el nombre. Esto es como cuando le preguntan a ustedes, mire, pupusas en inglés, ¿verdad? Ah, pupusas, porque eso en inglés no, no existe, ¿verdad? El nombre sigue igual. Uh -huh. Pero igual lo puede cambiar si usted quiere, puede ser George. Any other question? Um, shift or shift? Uh, shift. 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 Okay. Good. Teacher. Uh -huh. Indeed. 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 Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other? Ok, solo una más antes de iniciar, doesn't, ok, esta uh, siempre a veces hay personas que dicen doesn't, pero no es doesn't, es doesn't, ok, el does va normal y luego es un sonido como and, doesn't, ok, that is very important, ok, vamos a practicar entonces, let's practice, let's see, Blanca, Ruth, and Marlon Paniagua. You are the first one. Okay. Marlon. Hi, Marlon. Hi. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Marlon. Your star. Um, I, I am Will. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This kitchen looks Great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the, the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed, but those. Jessica, they orders during the morning shift. No. Eh, ah, no, ahí ya va, ya va la otra persona. Ahí está malo. Eh. Eh, Orson empieza en no. <laughs> ok. Ok. No, she doesn't. Eh, Jorge does. Eh, he takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I I get in who does after after him does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Very good, very nice. Okay, now we're gonna listen to Josman Serrano and Salvador Bernal. Okay. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleaned a kitchen for a month. She does a really good job. Indeed, but that's Jessica. They ordered during the morning shift. No, she she does she doesn't. Jorge does. He take order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. His brother take down him. Yes, he does. Okay, very good, nice. Now we're gonna listen to Eurice Torres and Catherine Indira. Mm, the chicken looks great. Uh huh. Yo, escuché mi nombre, teacher. Yo. No. Hola. No sé si voy yo. Eh, puede empezar usted. Okay. The kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of the of cleaning? 
Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good, a really, a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? Mm, no, she doesn't. Jorge, does he take order from 10 a.m. to 2 a to 2 p.m.? I get it. Okay. You continue. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after yes, him? Yes, she does. Okay, creo que yes, he does. Okay, I'll send a message or something. Vamos a esperar un minutito y si no, pues vamos a continuar con... O oh, le voy a ayudar yo. Eh. Ah, bien. I, I have to work. Hola. Teacher. Ok, le voy a ayudar yo entonces. Ya no puedo. Vamos a ver. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Ok, very good. Now we are going to listen to uh, Karen Sanchez and Gabriela Jamlet. <laughs> Okay, teacher. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning up? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the, the morning shift? No, she doesn't. For his thoughts, he takes other from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And uh, who does after him? Does his brother take the others after him? Yes, he does. Very good. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to listen to Irving Isai and Edwin Antonio. Hey, Very good. You and Irving. Irving, are you here with us? Okay, creo que no puede Irving. So, Edwin with um, Carlos. Uh, yes, I can. I can. Okay, okay. Vamos con Irving siempre entonces. Go ahead. Uh, this kitchen look great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. Wow, she does a really good job. And then, but doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Or he does. He takes order from. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Very good. Very nice. Perfect. Now, let's see. Gabriela Jamilet and Carlos Arias. Okay. This kitchen looks great. It does, it does. Jessica is, she cleans, cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. It does, it does, it does, it does. In, in it, in it, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning chief? No, she does, she does. George does. George does. He takes orders take order from a.m. to, to a.m. p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he yes, does, he does. Very good, perfect, thank you. And now to finish, Fatima, Noemi, and Carlos Dominguez. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. He does who is scared of cleaning it. Yes, why is she in the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday? She does a really good job. Indeed, but does when Jessica say other during the morning? Okay, no, other from 10 p.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother pay the other after him? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Perfect. So very nice. Uh, let's remember the pronunciation. Estuvo bastante bien, creería yo que la única que está así como que en el aire sería indeed. ¿verdad? Indeed. That is the only one. Other than that, the other was good. Okay, uh, let's check some vocabulary. Kitchen, what is kitchen? Cocina. Cocina, Cocina de cuarto, ¿verdad? no de utensilio. Good. Who's in charge? ¿Qué es estar in charge? A cargo. Estar a cargo. Very good. So, who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, man. Yes, indeed. Como, en efecto, por supuesto. En efecto, por supuesto. Very good. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? What is shift? Como su horario, ¿verdad? El horario como que el turno, su turno, algo así. Very good. And what is to take orders? Tomar la orden o tomar el pedido. Very good. Tomar órdenes. Nice. And then he says, now she doesn't hurt. He does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. Yes, I get it. Entiendo. Entiendo. Okay. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Creería que no hay más preguntas, pero ¿tienen ustedes alguna otra pregunta? Solo una pregunta, teacher, eh, que dijo que el eh, shift. Shift es como el turno. El turno. Ajá, porque puede ser que sea el turno de la mañana, el turno de la noche, algo por eso. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Ok, so now we're going to do the uh, exercise three. Discuss and answer the following questions. Who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays? Uh-huh. Jessica. Jessica. Very good. So Jessica cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. Now, what does Jorge do? Very good. He takes orders. Nice. And when does Jorge's brother take orders? Uh, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Mm, okay. From 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. is Jorge. Oh, sorry. Huh? Um. Sería de 2 p.m. in the... At the finish day. Very good. Something like that one. So after 2 p.m. Podríamos decir así. Or from 2 p.m. after or till the end of the shift. Something like that. Very good. Perfect. Nice. Let's continue. So 
how to use simple present for scheduled activities. Vamos a repetir aquí para ir mejorando la pronunciation. Everybody, please repeat. How to use simple present for scheduled activities. How to, how to use how to use simple present for activity. Use the simple present for scheduled activities. Use the simple present for special activities. Matt serves at 2 p.m. Matt serves at 2 p.m. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. Okay. Andrea cleans the tables from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Andrea cleans the tables from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Yeah. Very good, perfect. So, um, recordemos que si usamos tercera persona, the verbs is different. Simple present tense rules. That is very important. Do you have any question here? Tenemos alguna pregunta? No questions. Clear as or chata. Nice. So, we're going to do the uh, exercise five. Use the verbs from the box to write sentences about you and people in your workplace. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer con los verbos que están acá? Vamos a escribir una oración. Lo que quieran puede ser negativa, pregunta, afirmativa, whatever you want. Okay. I will give you some minutes. Le daré unos minutos para que la escriban y luego pues vamos a ir viendo. A uno le voy a preguntar una, a otro le voy a preguntar otra y así a ver cómo nos queda. Okay. Do you have questions about the activity? Perfect. Ok, so le doy unos minutos para que terminemos las oraciones. Ok. Ok.
Did you finish already? Let's check. So, number one, ¿quién quiere decir la número uno? Con work. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. My boss works from home once a week. Very good and very good for your boss. Very nice. Perfect, that was perfect. Um, number two, open. Who wants to share number two? Me, teacher. Okay, Marlon. Diana opens the bookstore at 8 a.m. Okay, very good, perfect, very nice. Okay, number three, who wants to share number three? Me. Okay, go ahead. Marta arrived one hour late. Marta arrives one hour late, okay? Oh, arrived in past, it might be good, okay. Number four, who wants to share number four? Teacher, the kitchen, my house, closed in the Sunday. Okay, very good. The kitchen in your house is closed uh, on Sundays. No cooking, good. Number five, who wants to share number five? teacher okay go ahead he cuts class dance in the afternoon he goes to dance class in the afternoon very good perfect nice we're not going to do number six but we're going to do number uh, the next one that is going to be always in unit number two staff and schedules so it says i will be able to ask and tell information related to marketing strategies que la parte del video que vimos ahora ¿verdad? So marketing strategies. Number one says, what is an important strategy restaurants could implement to get more clients? In your opinion, what is an important strategy restaurants could implement to get more clients? Very good customer service. Very good customer service. That is very, very important. Very nice. Any other? No other? There are many strategies. I mean, the pictures of the food, right? I mean... When you see pictures of food, you get hungry, so you want to go there. Uh, pricing, some pricing offers, that is also good. There are many strategies that we can find. Question number two, it says, what are some successful restaurants you know? What is successful? Successful, uh, exitosos. So uh, are, uh -huh. the restaurant successful for me is uh Tony Romans, the Pizza Hut, um, um Charlie Boys. Charlie is very good, right? Charlie Boys. And yeah, Tony Romans is also very successful. Pizza Hut is successful around the world, definitely. Very good, perfect. Thank yes. you. And any other any other restaurants that are very successful? Pampa, La Pampa, very good. Any other? Uh, the Los Cebollines. I really love Los Cebollines. That is very nice. Good. Any other? Okay, very good. There are a lot of rights, so... Uh, now we're going to go to the conversation, says, uh, lo usual, ustedes ya saben cómo hacemos las conversaciones, so vamos a repetir. Everybody, please repeat. Hello, Jennifer, how's it going? Hello, Jennifer, how's it going? How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. 
I am checking, just checking the number of people on a regular, a regular basis. That sounds good. That, that sounds good. good. That good. sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies. I am. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies. And I want to know some things. Okay, I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? How often do we change the menu? The menu. Well, we seldom change the menu. Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? Do we ever, Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. No, 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 no sir, never, we never. never do. Okay, pronunciation questions. Uh, item or item? Item. 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 In English, it's item. Item. The other? Estrategia. Strategies. Strategy. 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 Any other? Pro, eh, promoting. Promoting. Promotional. Any other question? Ok, so let's practice. Vamos a practicar, que es a lo que venimos. Very good. Let's start with Blanca, Ruth, and Marlon Paniagua. Ok, Marlon. Ok, uh, I'm sorry, or who start? Um, uh... Jennifer, I okay. am Jennifer. Okay, okay. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. 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 That sounds good. Look. I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoti promoting. Promoting. Uh, Promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Good, very good, perfect. Now, Justman and Eulise. Okay. Uh, you first. Um... You first. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. How's it going? It's fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in the regular basic. That sounds good. Look, I'm thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. 
do ever do we do we ever we give a promotion item? No, sir. We never do. Perfect. Very good. Now we're gonna listen to Catherine Indira and Karen Sanchez. Yes. I can, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, I start. Um, Karen, hello, Karen, are you here? Creo que no puede, Karen. Entonces, con Jennifer Torres. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hello. Okay, good. Hello. Hello, hello Jennifer. How is it going? Just not remote. I think the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting ulcer every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Very good, perfect, nice. So now, Gabriela Jamilet and Irving is a Okay, okay. Hello, Jennifer. Who is, who it is going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just checking the number of people who come in a regular place. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Yes, tell me some. How often do we ch change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting it every week. Do we ever give the promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay, perfect. Very good. Nice. Now we're going to listen to, let's see. Edwin Antonio and Carlos Arias. Okay, teacher. Hi, sir. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, just fine. I am just, I am just the number of people coming our way. That's not good. Look, I am taking about my marketing strategies and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. Tell me, sir. How often do you change the menu? What? What? We show them, show them, the menu, the menu. However, however, we are to make a user every week, every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? Not you, not you. Never, never. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. Now we're gonna listen to Fatima Noemi and Carlo Dominguez. Hello, Jennifer. How is going? Hello, Carlo Dominguez. Okay. Just five, Mister Mott. I am checking the number of people will come in the regular bus. And I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? We will seldom change the, the menu. 
whoever we are promoting a desert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Very good. Perfect. And now, Salvador Bernal and... Uh, let's see. Todos pasamos ya, pero alguien le va a ayudar allí a, a Salvador. Le va a ayudar a ver. Ok, go ahead. Hello, Jennifer. How is going? It's fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing extra strategies Strat and I want to know something tell me sir how often do we change the menu well we uh, seldom change the menu however we are promoting a dessert every week do we ever give a promotional item no sir we never do Ok, very good, perfect, nice. En general, muy bien la pronunciación. Vamos a ver solo un par de palabras. A ver, uh, recordemos que esta es how. How. Y esta es who. Pronunciation is different. Who. Uh, let's see. Esta sounds. That sounds good. Let's see. Strategies. Ok. Strategies. Um, Basis, okay. Menu, dessert, porque si decimos dessert, ya esa es otra palabra, dessert. And de ahí estamos bien, very good. So let's check vocabulary. Um, let's see. Cuando decimos, en este caso, in a regular basis, what is that? Sería como de manera regular, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántos vienen en promedio, algo por el estilo? Cuando decimos, that sounds good, ¿qué es eso? Eso suena bien. Eso suena bien. Very good. Uh, luego dice strategies want to know some things. Uh, sir, ¿qué es sir? Señor. 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 De manera muy respetuosa, ¿verdad? Very, very polite. Um, do you remember what is seldom? Para las veces. Para las veces, very good. What is however? Sin embargo. Sin embargo, very good, como sea. Uh, ok, what is the third? Postre. Postre, muy bien. Esta palabra se parece a desert. No es lo mismo de ser desert que desert. Ok, que desert también se escribe diferente, se escribe con una S nada más. Entonces, por eso la pronunciación es bien importante, ¿verdad? Porque... Si no lo decimos bien, si la palabra la pronunciamos mal, allá cuando andemos en Nueva York nos van a entender otra cosa. ¿verdad? So we need to be very careful. And there are no other questions, I guess. So uh, do you have any other question here? Pronunciation or vocabulary question? Podría repetir la estrategia, es que no, no logro captarlo. Okay, strategies. 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 Gracias. Good. Any other question? No more. Okay. Let's do menu the question. Menu. I'm sorry? Menu is menu, verdad? Menu. 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 Mm -hmm. Thanks. Good. Any other question? Okay, so let's do the exercise three. 
says, uh, we're going to answer the questions, okay? What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? Any idea? No. Ok. Aquí es otra pregunta, porque no está la respuesta aquí en el... En la, en la conversación no está la respuesta, eso es como una opinión. I believe, for example, in my opinion, maybe it's like a fast food restaurant. Maybe. So, any answer is fine here. Number two, it says, what are some marketing strategies the restaurant is using nowadays to get more clients? Uh-huh. What strategies they are using to get more, more clients? Change the menu. Okay, change the menu. Very good. Any other? Promoting a dessert every week. Promoting a dessert every week. Very good. Any other? Okay. Están también pensando. No lo hacen, pero promotional items is for the future. Very good. Perfect. Do you have any questions? What is nowadays? Ok, nowadays. ¿Se acuerdan esta palabra, compañeros? ¿Qué era esa? Yes. Hoy en día. Hoy en día. Hoy en día. Presente. Very good. Perfect. Nice. Ok. So, we are going to finish the class, but before we finish, do you have any question? No questions. Very good. El 101 de ahora le toca a Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Vamos a pasar lista y ahora sí nos vamos a ir a... We're going to go to bed and rest. Ok, so let's see. What is 101? What is? 101. 101. Sí, le explico. Eh, cuando terminamos las clases en este tipo de curso, al finalizar la clase, todos tienen como una pequeña sesión de 101. Es decir... Nos quedamos 10 minutos, bueno, hasta las 10 y 10 nos quedamos hablando, a ver si tiene alguna pregunta, dudas, si vamos a practicar, cosas por el estilo. Todos tienen asignado un día. Y ahora le toca, por ejemplo, a Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. Ok, so, it's a pleasure. So, Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. I am here, teacher. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. I'm here. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. I'm here, teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present, teacher. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Here, teacher. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Here, teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. 
Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night, a nice weekend. Uh, rest very well and see you on Monday. You sure I have a question. Uh huh. Go ahead. Uh, this this week uh, we have to finish the section three. Ah, uh, no, yet. Tenemos que terminarla la dos. Tenemos que terminarla el martes. Okay. Thank you. Good. Perfect. Good night. See you. See you. See you Monday. Okay. Hey, hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Perfect, very good. Eh, bueno, sí, solo para explicarle, ¿verdad? El one one es como para ver si tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda, no solo con las clases eh, que hemos tenido, sino preguntas que siempre ha tenido de inglés o alguna consulta, y pues para ver cómo vamos. Entonces, si sí, la primera pregunta es eso, ¿verdad? ¿cómo siente usted que va? ¿Siente que va aprendiendo? ¿Siente que va agarrando algo aquí en la clase? Pues la verdad, sí, dicho. Es prácticamente eh, más interactiva la clase. Siento que quizás por las dos horas que tenemos hay un poquito más de oportunidad de práctica. Y es lo que me está ayudando un montón, ya que en mi trabajo lo tengo que usar el inglés bastante. Por el momento es como que no me lo demanda tanto mi jefe porque sabe que estoy estudiando, pero sí es prácticamente del uso diario. Porque prácticamente es con customer service lo que hago y es con clientes no solo de El Salvador, sino que de Estados Unidos. Entonces, prácticamente son correos en inglés, eh, videollamadas en inglés. Pero siento que sí estoy agarrando bastante más de esta forma que con este curso que con los anteriores, siento yo. Ok, very good. Lo que sí me gustaría es como, no sé, si hay páginas específicas, ya sea de internet eh, o, o no sé, si hay videos o algo en los que se pueda practicar lo que es el speaking, porque siento que ahí es como que un poquito me falla. Dice que hay muchas plataformas y hay muchas aplicaciones, solo que la mayoría son pagadas, ¿verdad? Pero puede utilizar ciertas técnicas, por ejemplo, una de las cosas que puede hacer, que yo recomiendo que es bien fácil de hacer, es agarre un video de YouTube, ¿verdad? Dos, tres líneas de algo que dice ahí, que usted vea los le ponga los subtítulos, los, los close caption, y va a ver las palabras, lo puede apuntar, ¿verdad? Y escuche cómo lo dice, y luego se graba usted y lo compara. Esa sería una buena estrategia. Otra estrategia, por ejemplo, con, en Google, en, um, en los documentos de Google, hay una parte donde usted le puede dictar a un documento. O sea, usted puede agarrar una lectura y la puede ir leyendo, y lo hace despacio, tranquilo, cerca del, del, del micrófono. Si Google no le reconoce la palabra es porque no la dijo bien, ¿verdad? así de fácil es. Entonces, cosas así las pueden empezar a hacer. Sí hay plataformas, sí hay aplicaciones que le ayudan a eso, pero pues la mayoría son pagadas, ¿verdad? Usted paga 30 dólares o algo por el estilo y, y ahí va, ¿verdad? Eh, pero puede hacer eso, es cosas así se pueden ir haciendo y comparando usted lo que dice con lo que dicen alguien en inglés. That is a very good. Y luego pues ya solo sería de ir agarrando eh, fluidez. Okay. Very good. Uh, do you have any questions regarding this class or the platform or anything in English? Pues, por el momento, no. Okay, very good. 
Entonces, yo siento que va bastante bien. Yo tengo entendido que en este grupo hay gente de varios niveles. Siento yo que usted habla bastante bien y entiende ya muchas cosas. Entonces, solo sería de, de agarrarse más vocabulario. Una estrategia para eso es, por ejemplo, empezar a pensar en inglés nada más. Es decir, usted está en su casa y dice, bueno, me voy a pre preparar un sanguchito, me voy a ver una película y voy a... Todo eso pensarlo en inglés, ¿verdad? Y si de repente usted encuentra una palabra que no sabe cómo decirla, va y la busca y se la aprende. Y si usted empieza a pensar en inglés día a día y a agregar vocabulario, fácil, fácil va a empezar luego a, a dar el, el salto ya al, al full English. De acuerdo. Perfect, perfect. So, any other thing, any, alguna otra cosa que, que pueda hacer por usted? Yes. No, solamente. Gracias. Okay. It was a pleasure, Edwin. I hope you have a very good night and see you on Monday. Thank you very much. You too. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye now.